part three. Uh, enjoyed that. Uh, you see, is that a taxi lane or is that a going right lane? I don't know. Ah, buses only. You see what I mean? You've got to be very careful around here because it's easy to drop a clanger. Never Edge, Abbeydale. I don't know where I am. I'm an Englishman in New York. I don't know where the chuff I am. Have a look. Uh, but yeah, so it's all good. Uh, do we phone in him now, actually? Uh, Barnsley, Glossop, it's got to be round here, isn't it? The more Devonshire quarter, is that centre? You know, I don't know where I am, you know. It's Russ. Yeah, 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 no, it's just mate. Yeah, right. Are you about are you about about two o'clock, mate? Uh probably. I've got to meet to Sheffield at some point this afternoon. Oh well uh well that's I that's I I'll t I can come with you, take you if you want. We'll go in my car if you want. I'll have a chat on no, way. No, me and our last will go into Costco. So oh. <laughs> oh I don't wanna go there. Yeah. <laughs> alright then, uh so if if I call at yours about half one, is that alright then? Yeah, 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 it should be alright. I'll come to yeah. pitch then, Mel, yeah? Yeah, no worries, mate. Alright, yeah. you take care. Do too, mate. Do right, too. Alright. That's my pal Mel. Uh gonna have a chat with him. It's been a good day today. Shout out to Chester. Hope you're well, Chester. Uh, it's all good, it's all good positive stuff now. What I want everybody to do is... She's not bad. Rush her through the last. What I want everybody to do is I want you to send in your... Trainer of the Year. Who you should think should get the Trainer of the Year now. Obviously people are going to go on what success they've had, but sometimes a trainer can be a, can take somebody that's been on a bad run or not even won a belt and turn it around and we don't get to see it because they don't win a belt. So there's more to it than just winning belts. For example, would Anthony Joshua have won his first, won his first 16 fights, including a world title, if I'd have trained him? Probably wouldn't he because he had 16 knockovers, didn't he, for his first 16? I think yeah, I think his first 20 were knockovers, weren't they, or something? So the point I'm trying to make is this. Uh, Anthony Joshua, his trainer, does he deserve it? Trainer at year? No, he don't. I mean, he's getting a lot of plaudits, but he beat a man that were overweight, what, didn't he, really? And, he's, and he fought scared. Now, 
Nobody can tell me that Anthony Joshua were in control of that fight. Because every time Ruiz let his hands go, Joshua got on his bike. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is, if you look at the size of the ring that Anthony Joshua fought in, you will see that the, that ring was... You will see that that ring was massive. It was the biggest ring I've ever seen in every weight title fight. A massive ring, massive. Now the we that ring helps Joshua out. The say it, the saying that ring made it a two a two minutes forty five seconds. Two minutes forty five seconds. Cheers, mate. 2 minutes 45 seconds rounds, 15 seconds every single round, Anthony Joshua shaved off by its size at ring because the, the guy's got to walk him down, hasn't he? And Re Ruiz didn't have the legs to walk him down, so I agree with what Terry Chapendama said about that. I agree with what Frank Warren said about it, whereas Ruiz has got a duty, I was going to say duty of care, he's got a duty to the fans to turn up in shape now just because you're heavyweight don't mean say that you can pig out you've still got to turn up in shape now Ruiz wasn't in shape he wasn't in shape was he so I don't think that's good at all I don't think that's good turning up in that kind of shape it's not good at all it's like me turning up to fight a uh, It's like me turning up to fight at super middleweight, isn't it? Him turning up like that. It's like me turning up to fight at me, the super middleweight. Forced on have a weight. Oh, it's like Ruiz. Ruiz were forced on have a weight. As far as I'm concerned. From when he first, what, what were Ruiz when he first started? Was 16 stone? Turning up over 20 stone? Pushing on for 300 pound? He got in ring at, what, at 291. 291. Unbelievable. Do you know what I forgot to do? Look at that. Oops, down there. There you go. Yeah, I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to put some fuel in, I'm going to have to crawl up here now because I've done. Have a look. Oh my god, I've done 52 mile with fuel light on. Ooh, 52 mile. Slow that though. That's not good that. I don't like running it down into dregs. That's we're trying to get 500 mile out, uh, out of 70 quid. We've got another 16 mile to do and I've got 500 mile off 70 quid. That's the knocking about and that, that's crap that because I've had 620 mile out of it before but I were, I were on a run there, not motorway and that. But, so. So other than that, it's all it's all good stuff. It's all uh, not very good camera angle. That is it. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? Shout out to Chris Smedley. Chris, you rung me up. Said you were coming to see me. And you forgot. Where were you? Thought you were coming to see me for a cuppa. Come and see me. Say what, I won't mind going up to Clinton's gym this week. I keep saying I'm gonna go up. Clinton, I'm still waiting for invite. Still waiting for invite, Clinton, to come and see you. To talk about your career. And how your gym's going. Alright, I'm thinking about putting you on my next billboard, Clinton. 
I need a different design, don't I, for the next billboard. Matthew! Sort out my next billboard, Matthew. Come on. Let's have one up. Let's have a picture of Clinton and Dennis on a big billboard. Saying loyalty is everything or something like that. What a great story that though, isn't it? The Clinton Woods and Dennis Hobson story. I always go on about this, don't I? What's he done with him from debut? What has he done with him from debut? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I like people to stay with people from debut. This is why Mick Whale and Josh Whale's a great story, isn't it? If you can stay with your team from the beginning, I think it's great. I think it's brilliant. I really, really do honestly, I think it's brilliant. But, you know, it's one of them things, in it? Other than that, I'm alright. I'm more excited about, uh, I'm more excited about my queue today. So I'm going to get a new feral, new tip. And, uh, to get it all sorted. Fact, I'm gonna go take it now. And then it's out of my head then. I've got that many things coming and going in, spinning around in my head at the moment. I can't seem to concentrate on one thing. Snooker and boxing and all that. I've got all sorts going through my head. Uh have a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm in car now, I'm just filming, so I'm on my way to the factory now, I'm just getting off at Parkway, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, alright, no, I'll see. I'm not factory, I'm at Barnsley store. Are you at Barnsley factory, yeah? yeah. Oh, are yeah. you going to the factory today? Yes, I will be doing, yeah. Oh, because I'm, I'm meeting that, who is it? I'm meeting uh, a guy at half one, and then I'm going to nip back. I'm only for half an hour at Swinton, he's, he's a friend of Mick Wales, he's got a car pitch. So I'm going to go see... I'll phone you if I'm not going back, if I'm not. Just I've got a few things uh, and I'm waiting for this insurance policy coming through. Alright. It's not through yet. Alright then. Uh, alright right, then. Alright, speak to you in a bit, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. Uh, it's all go, isn't it? It's all go. It's not work though, this is it. It's not back breaking work. It's all in here. It's all in here. Nah. Uh, Dennis won't tell me, would he? Who, 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 uh, who are the two people that he's talking to? I know though. I know. And one of them, one of them's going to blow the lid off boxing if he signs. The, the other kid's really good as well. So, so it's all good positive stuff, isn't it? This video is going to cut out on me now. Get in your lane then. I hate it when it cuts out because I don't know how to edit it, and edit it into one. But that won't be a problem because I should be having a meeting with Limitless soon. That's a website design company that do all social media and blah de blah so. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get an appointment but with Limitless. And I'm just going to get invoice to Kev, I've just spoke to, there you go Kev, here's invoice, square that up. Oh, oh he shouldn't say things to me, then change your mind, but he'll be alright. He'll be alright with them invoices, Kev loves an invoice. <laughs> here's a private plate there, Clinton and Dennis would like that, wouldn't they? Owl. Owl. Sheffield United. No, Chef Wednesday in it, Owls. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm the type of guy that put a billboard up, aren't I? Had somebody put a billboard up for me at Sheffield United ground and they, pulled, they dragged it down, didn't they? 
but it don't matter, does it? Because we got re we got reimbursed. Shout out to Danny Ryan. How are you doing, Danny? I read your comments. I live in your head, rent free. <laughs> hey, I live in your head, rent free. And let me tell you this: with people I've got behind me, my channel is going to the top. I'll take you along for a ride if you want, Danny. You'd love to come on the channel, wouldn't you? But you're not who you say you are. You and your troll mates. So, but it is what it is, isn't it? Let me phone you back. Let me phone you back, Eddie. I'm filming, yeah? Five minutes, I'll call you, yeah? Don't say no incriminating. He usually comes out with some something that's clever, doesn't he, Eddie? Don't say no incriminating about where I've nicked this merc from. Do you know what? Somebody the other day emailed me saying that this Merc's nicked. Oh, alright, oh, is it stolen, is it? Well, it's news to me. It's news to me. But, so, other than that, I'm alright, so... What can you do? It's all good positive stuff, isn't it? All good positive stuff. Uh, well, that's about it, really, I suppose. Uh, but can I just point out that if Dennis does make any new signings, that the boxing board of control don't need to be getting on at him and accusing me of talking to people because it's the first time I've heard about it till I heard yesterday. So, but if Dennis wants to sign fighters, that's up to him, isn't it? So, that's how I look at it. But if anybody's got a problem, it's not good having to go at Dennis, is it? It's not good having to go at me, Isaac, because I'm not a licensed soldier, am I? So, but whoever sent that email into Boxing Board of Control, and we know who you are, we know who it is who sent it. You know, but a grass. And you know, grasses, all grasses should be tortured, tortured. All right, all squealers. And isn't it amazing? how certain people want to go around and throw that word about but yet they've never done a day in stir in their life have they? certain people they've never done a day in jail in their life but yet they're carrying off like the G's they're not G's, they're G strings they're not OG's, they're just G, G S's, G strings do you know what I mean? but so Alright poor kid, Tyson and Fury have split, have you seen that? Yeah I've seen it, uh, for, for, for all you people who keep uh, mentioning it to me about Tyson Fury and Ben Davidson Go and look at my video after the Otto Wallin fight You know, people might start believing in the Dark Destroyer now <laughs> Hey, people might start believing in the Dark Destroyer, Porky now Because I called it same as I called Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, don't forget, Danny, go back on my video after Otto Walling fight and check. And then comment. Alright, you do that. Danny Ryan with three ends in Danny and no subscribers. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set an account up and I'm going to troll Porky Russ. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best compliment people can pay you in it really. Rico, you're right, I love you with all my heart. The best compliment that somebody can pay you is, all they do all day is troll you. That is the best compliment in the world. So, other than that I'm okay. 
um, uh, things are going good, but yeah, Tyson Fury. I'll email him in a bit. Tyson Fury and Ben Davison are no more. Tyson Fury is, uh, he's got to work the American angle now, hasn't he? So, he's, so if he's based over there, he's probably getting a free place to stay off Sugar Hill because he's been, he stopped over there before and it'll be better for Tyson. As regards a trainer, well Ben Davidson, what did I say to people? Ben Davidson's very inexperienced but he talks a good game, doesn't he? But at the time he was a perfect fit because Tyson Fury needs somebody that's going to agree to everything but also somebody that's going to know a bit about nutrition and somebody that's going to be on his case now. No matter what's happened between Tyson and Ben Fury and Tyson Fury and Ben Davison, Tyson Fury got dropped twice in a fight against Deontay Wilder. He also had a life and death with Otto Wallin. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if you're having a life and death with Otto Wallin, there's problems. You've got big problems. That's just my opinion. So. If, you, if, you, if he's having a life and death with Otto Wallin, what do you think Dante Wilder's going to do? Now Tyson can outbox him, but he's Ben Davidson the trainer to get Tyson through that. Obviously Tyson doesn't feel that. Because if you're training Tyson Fury, don't be coming out with any of that, well, uh, it's what's best for our careers and I've got other fighters and all that. That's a load of rubbish. If you're Tyson Fury's trainer, the lineal heavyweight champion at will, you drop everything for him. So, what it means technically in gypsy terms is, I don't rate you, but I'm not going to insult you because you're an MTK, MTK employee and I'm promoted by MTK or managed by him. So he's not going to hammer him, is he? Because it's going to be bad for his profile, but the bottom line is this. Tyson Fury don't rate Ben Davidson. That's my opinion. If you've got a trainer and, you, and, and you're telling everybody your blood brothers and this and that and all of a sudden you get rid of this trainer, it means that you don't rate him, doesn't it? Or, what does it mean? I rate him. I mean, Ben Davidson's saying that he's prepared to go to America and do all that with Tyson and drop everything for him. His words and then all of a sudden well, I'm not going to work with Tyson and we're trying to work out what's best for our careers and our schedules are clashing and all that. Load of knackers. Tyson don't rate him. Now, he rated him before Otto Wallin fight after he knocked out Tommy Swartz. I, to be honest with you, I don't think Ben Davis is a bad trainer, but he obviously don't rate him. Life and death with Otto Wallin and getting caught like that, in my opinion, means that you're not the finished article. Ben Davison's probably going to train for another 40 year. 45 year in fact. He'll be a 50 year trainer. Trust me. He'll be another Jimmy Tibbs. And he learnt off Jimmy Tibbs. But, it's all pointing to the fact that Tyson Fury, he don't rate him. That's the bottom line. I, I don't want everybody to sugar, we're not going to sugarcoat it are we? that he's gone to Sugar Hill. <laughs> We're not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The bottom line is this. Tyson Fury does not rate Ben Davidson. He doesn't rate him. He doesn't rate him at all. So that's the bottom line. Otherwise he'd still be with him. Because Ben's saying he can drop everything and he's there for Tyson and he's his number one and all that. So don't be giving me all this about schedules, load of rubbish. He don't rate him. There have been people in Tyson's ear chipping away, chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. There have been, I don't know who. Usually, it's usually family, isn't it? I don't know who. Somebody's got in his head and they've said, listen, you've had a life and death with Otto Wallin. What do you think could happen with Wilder? If Otto Wallin can catch you and punch you, what if Wilder catches you and punches you? The same man that dropped you twice. So they've had, they've panicked. And I think him dropping him is a sign of, Phew, this is what we've got ahead of us. So, you might see a pullout. 
I was right about Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz got injured and I said he'd pull out. He tried to pull out, didn't he? So all you people who were having a pop, he tried to pull out. Alright? Tried. So, but Eddie Hearn won't let him, would he? So, well, that's boxing for you, isn't it? That's boxing. It's one of them things, isn't it? One of them things. So, right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. I wanted to go to AJ's today as well. Shout out to... Shout out to Innovation Alloys at Sheffield. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging Services. Shout out to Clinton Woods uh, Boxing Gym, Fitness Gym in Sheffield. Is it up Burley? Shout out to Sheffield Boxing Centre. Shout out to Mickey's Athletic. Shout out to Josh Whale and Mick, sunning themselves on the beach. Shout out to Dennis. Stuck up a stuck up a, a mountain, pretending that he's Eddie the Eagle. Shout out to Carlton, who's with Dennis, and his ski Sunday coat. All looks very exciting that ski in Palava, but it's not for me. If I want to go down an hill in snow, I just get a plaggy bag from Aldi and I bomb down, man. I do little man, remember little man. Like that. I don't need skis to go down a mountain. Skis. I don't need a lift to climb up a mountain as well. I just plow up like Rocky with rock log on my back. So. Oh, so. So that's that. So shout out to Gibbo at Edlow Motors as well. So, peace out.